So have you ever updated a program and realized that update just didn't do the things you wanted it to do? Like I recently updated Caden Live, which I used to edit these videos, and it wasn't as good. It caused, there's some bugs and other things in it. Not necessarily it didn't work, but it was just kind of buggy where the more stable version, uh, you know, I had no problems with. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to downgrade packages in any Arch-based distribution. So let's get into it. This video is brought to you by SkySilk. Affordable pricing, simple automation, scaling, and VPS deployment tools carefully designed to offer resources that fit any project. Their pricing starts as low as $2 a month, and I've used them personally for about the past six months to host a Minecraft server. Link is in the description. So for Arch starting off, you're gonna need a package called downgrade and i'm going to jump on the desktop right now and show you that because it is a very very powerful package i didn't even know this existed until recently and i found it and i was like oh my gosh this just would save so much headache uh especially when you're dealing with like caden live and other programs that have a more rapid release cycle on arch where you're constantly getting that bleeding edge and sometimes it's just not as good so let's just jump on the desktop and get into it Okay, so I'm sitting here editing my video and I realize, hey, Caden uh, Live isn't showing me any waveform for my audio down here. I don't know where to cut. I don't know how to do anything because this version of Caden Live is just not working for me. So what can I do about this is uh, the bigger question. How do I get off of 11.9 and get to something that works as this version uh, isn't working. So what I can do is actually close out of Caden Live. Um, we'll go ahead and hit yes and come over into our clip. Now, when I do this, uh, we'll go into install downgrade. Now, I've already installed this package, but I just wanted to show you. It's from the AUR. Um, so you don't really need to do much. It's a pretty small package. It'll just download and uh, compile rather quickly as you saw just right there um, but you can use man downgrade to kind of go over a lot of it but basically all you need to do is sudo downgrade in the package and it gives you options so very powerful tool so for here we just go sudo downgrade caden live now i'm on 11.9 right now I'm probably going to revert all the way back to 19.08.3, as I know that one didn't give me much headache, or at least I don't think it did. So let's go ahead and type that package in. This should download and force it through. And then at the end, there's one more thing we need to do once it's installed, as we don't want our next update to go ahead and... Uh, update our package here back to like 19.12 or 19.11 that we were having issues with. So here it is. It says, hey, there's conflicting packages. It will do a downgrade. You say yes to this. And there we go. Now, when I did this the first time, it actually said, hey, do you want to add an ignore package for Caden Live? And when it says ignore package, you say yes. This will prevent a regular pseudo Pac-Man SYU, you'll see when it does the sync up, it says, hey, Caden Live is ignored, but there is a relevant package. So very important to know. And if you need to manually add it, let's say you accidentally hit no and you're like, oh crap, it's going to update that package. You can easily go sudo nano etc pacman.conf. And from here, you'll see the ignore package right here is set to Caden Live. So I could just add my package in here and it just makes sure that it doesn't upgrade that package. So uh, very cool. That's how you ignore packages and downgrade them to the proper version. I absolutely love the downgrade package. It's fantastic. Use it. It's, it's wonderful for reverting those old packages back especially when you run into problems. This is one of those things where you have some issues and uh, it'll solve them for you without having to restore like a time shift backup. But with that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.